hello everyone and welcome to another video of no scope neon uh, guys i am here to talk about the upcoming intel 10th generation cascade lake, lake x processors it is a huge huge step forward from intel to com uh, to compete with amd actually that sounds funny to compete with amd because intel has been the market leader for more than a decade i think like 15 years or so uh, the latest 10th ten generation, generation cascade lake x processors have a variety of features but the most important uh, fee uh, thing about this particular generation is that it is being offered at almost near to 50 percent less price of what the previous generations were so it is really good news for consumers like us uh, because amd is offering a much better price to performance uh, ratio compared to intel uh, because of which they have lost a considerable amount of market share to intel to amd so intel plans to gain regain that market share from amd with this refresh uh, mostly they have lost the market share in the entry level hdet platform uh, where you know boom the buyers are most of them are like uh, doing adobe or consumer <clears throat> adobe or consumer oriented things and also they want to do some gaming as well so that's where uh, intel has lost most of its market share and that what it plans to regain uh, from this refresh so let's look at uh, what intel is doing uh, we can see that it is still going to be a 14 nanometer uh, chip which will be based on the Skylake architecture uh, we can see that amd has already advanced to 12 nanometer and again to it will be to a 7 nanometer zen 2 platform but uh, we can also see that amd has not fully uh, utilized the uh, benefits of 12 nanometer it is still very limited to uh, per clock IPC when compared to Intel so the one of some of the major updates which Intel is bringing with the 10th generation are out of the box IPC is up to 4.8 gigahertz it has up to 256 GB of RAM support out of the box which is in increased from last generation and more than what AMD offers right now AMD is offering up to 128 GB and Intel is offering double of that so right there it is towards the people who are doing Adobe and doing creators uh, work it is definitely aimed towards that market and uh, it has up to 72 PCIe lanes now that is something very very interesting and uh, in the earlier generations there were less amount of PCIe lanes available compared to the previous one it has up to 18 core support for Thunderbolt 3 uh, Optane 905p support there are there is one new update to the software of Intel performance maximizer it will now support per core over per core overclocking which is a very very interesting feature it will be very helpful not only in video games but it will be very very helpful in for a content creator it is offered and the most guys the most important thing is that it is being offered in 50% less price so let's look at the in, the price offerings which they have as we can see here uh, just look at the price which these guys are having it's almost 50 percent less creations the amd 2000 series is also coming up and we can see that uh, it is intel is really trying to you know somehow <laughs> undercut that or something uh, it is really interesting scene where amd was the one who used to you know uh, uh, try to undercut Intel and now Intel is trying to do that by reducing their prices but again it's not cheap enough a thousand dollar near two thousand dollar for an 18 core whereas uh, AMD offers the similar thing in uh, quite a less amount uh, we can also see 
uh, some of the things which AMD has, Intel has, sorry. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is one interesting thing which Intel is claiming to offer. It is their per core performance price, relative price, right? So it, they say they are going to offer much higher price to performance ratio performance per dollar than AMD which will be very interesting to see because if, if these claims are right then things are really good for retail buyers uh, I believe uh, then there is one interesting development that uh, the Indian uh, computer retailer MD computers has listed the AMD Ryzen 3500 for 11,199 rupees which comes to around 150 dollars or something 157 dollars or something so this is a very interesting development from tomorrow onwards md computers will start shipping uh, from 9th october because there is a festival season in uh, india right now so this is a very interesting development uh, to see especially in the performance of uh, i5 i5 9400f uh, it will be competing with that and this is this will be you know like the achilles heel for intel this particular chip because this is going to attract a lot of i5 buyers and uh, at this price if i'm going to buy right now i'll i would definitely invest in this i would definitely buy this if i were to purchase a new cpu today and of course if i have the budget <laughs> yes and uh, let's also see some of the features related to uh, the intel wireless they are now supporting the wi-fi 6 ax 600 which is also a very good uh, it's a upgrade to the previous uh, generation intel is also supporting the thunderbolt 3 technology uh, one of the important important uh, thing which I felt was to mention that they are now offering quad channel support on uh, their new 10th gen SKUs out of the box I believe and uh, 2933 megahertz support out of the box I feel that these are very good changes which Intel is bringing right now let's look at the TDP values which Intel is going uh, which Intel is having um, yeah yeah let's look at TDP see TDP remains the same TDP remains the same uh, they are going to offer a slight bump on the uh, base clock and uh, since similarly in the uh, turbo boost as well the core counts remain the same the only a slight bump in the IPC and a huge decrease in price so people who were actually going to buy Intel anyways will have much more options to look at and I think this is a huge huge uh, competition which Intel is bringing to the market this is very good guys do let me know how this short new clip was i am new to the youtube community do show me some love by clicking the like button for this particular video or dislike if you didn't like it and also by subscribing to my channel thank you and see you in the next one